Leanne Wood's appearances in the televised debates has given her a higher national profile than any previous leader of Plaid Cymru. Last week she described her politics as being to the left of Labour, but said that wasn't very difficult. But she's also said that she will not necessarily support Ed Miliband if it comes to it. Is she bluffing? Well, she's with me now. Welcome to Leanne Woods. First of all, why do you think it is that we've seen this huge eruption of Scottish national support in Scotland, but nothing like that in Wales for Plaid Cymru. What's the difference? Well, the growth of support for the SNP has been taking place for quite some time. It was in 2007 that they first formed a minority government mm. and they've built from there. And clearly the, the referendum last year has done an awful lot to help build that support. And we haven't had a, a similar experience in Wales yet. But, but, but in a sense, the question still applies. It started earlier, but it didn't start in Wales earlier. So what is the sort of difference between the two countries, do you think? Well, I think that in Wales we've been focused on developing our devolution settlement. In 2011, Plaid Cymru was in coalition government in Cardiff Bay and pursued a, a referendum to turn our National Assembly into a lawmaking parliament. And in some senses, we put the building of the nation ahead of the building of our party. But I am confident that watching what's happening in Scotland and seeing that people are more engaged and interested in politics, that we can do something similar so do you, in Wales. Do you think we're on a tra trajectory which will end up with an independent Wales in your lifetime? Well, there's nothing inevitable about that, but it could well, very well happen. More and more people in Wales want more powers for our National Assembly, and it's clear that our economic situation is not good and we can't carry on as we are. So something has to change, and we are pushing in this election for the rebalancing of power and wealth throughout these islands, and that involves additional resources for Wales, but it also involves additional powers, powers that we need to turn around, around our economic situation. Now, you've said you're to the left of the Labour Party in terms of your own politics. There seems not to be difficult. a kind of, not difficult, <laughs> there seems to be, you say, there seems to be a kind of alliance of parties, yourself, the Greens, the SNP, all working together to be, produce a kind of left block in the new parliament. Now, that suggests to a lot of people that you will, you might do a deal with Ed Miliband, but you certainly couldn't do a deal with anybody else. There's no way that you could do a deal with the Conservatives, for instance. Absolutely not. I've ruled out uh, doing any deal that would prop up a, a Conservative government. People in Wales have never voted to give the Tories a, a mandate, and I don't believe that they will this time, and the SNP are in the same position. So we would work with a, a Labour government, but only if they weren't prepared to uh, you implement Tory policies. We and wouldn't and, and give Wales them. an extra £1.2 billion? Pounds. That's one of our priorities. That sounds a bit, a bit of a kind of stark demand. Give us a billion pounds or we won't support you. Well, the game changed completely ahead of the referendum in Scotland. The three establishment party leaders went to Scotland and... Uh, promise to keep in place the Barnet formula for Scotland and what that did was it locked in the funding disadvantage for Wales. So we believe that people in Wales deserve parity with Scotland. There's no good reason why people in Wales deserve anything but, but less. What, but what about people in England who look, look across the border to Wales? Welsh voters are already getting a lot more money in public spending terms per capita than English voters. It's, they, they will regard this as an unfair example of the pressure being put on a weak Labour government by nationalists. The DUP have already said, we want a billion pounds, by the way, as well. Scottish nationalists will want more money. Money will be flowing out of England because of the new constellation of parties in Parliament, will it not? Well, I agree. There are uh, anomalies within England as well. And that's why one of the arguments that we're putting forward in this election is to end austerity. And if that were to happen, then communities in England would benefit from that as well. But you raised the point about uh, parties in Northern Ireland. What we see there is that the politicians get together and put the case for additional resources for Northern Ireland, and they get it. What we need to do in Wales is the same. We need to build to shoulder. a Team Wales approach. If you don't ask for something, you certainly don't get it. And it's only Plaid Cymru who's calling for parity with Scotland in this election. You've had, as I was saying earlier on, a lot more spotlight than previous Plaid Cymru leaders. Do you expect, therefore, to get a bigger share of the vote than you've had in recent elections? Because you haven't been doing terribly well. The feedback I've had since the TV debates, not just from people in Wales, but from people in England as well, who've told me that they'd like a party for Plaid Cymru to vote for in this election, tells me that more and more people are coming towards our cause. Okay. So I think we, we will see some improvement in now, our I, I, I uh, mentioned results. that three graces moment where the three of you were hugging at the end of the leaders' debate, a very memorable image. Is it the case that as three female leaders of parties, you feel there's a, a new kind of solidarity or a sisterhood is developing in British politics that wasn't there before? 
I think something different is happening. I'm, uh, I'm convinced that we have a lot in common uh, across the three parties. Uh, I think we'd probably work together as three parties regardless of the gender of the leaders, but certainly having three women who get on with each other helps. There is a special bond there. All right, Leanne Wood, thank you very much indeed for joining us.